That's right. Another clash between the state's top two leaders. Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan once again made some big moves in her role as acting governor while Governor Little is out of state. Yeah, the governor's office responded saying he would undo any actions taken by McGeehan in his absence. First, McGeehan issued a new executive order modifying a previous order from Little that had banned so-called vaccine passports. She added K through 12 schools and universities to the list of public entities that cannot require proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test from people accessing public services. McGeehan also shared on Facebook that she, quote, fixed Governor Little's executive order. The move prompted a response from Little, who tweeted, I have not authorized the lieutenant governor to act on my behalf, adding that he would, quote, rescinding and reversing any actions taken by the lieutenant governor when I return. Governor Little is in Texas today, joining nine other governors for a tour of the U.S.-Mexico border. They're reviewing the growing crisis at the border and sharing their concerns on, and solutions while calling on the Biden administration to take action. But McGeehan is trying to take action while here in Idaho. The lieutenant governor reached out to the commanding general of the Idaho National Guard in an attempt to learn more about her authority to send guard members to the southern border. But Major General Michael Garshak told her she could not do that. He explained a call for help from border states earlier this year involved law enforcement, not National Guard troops. Back in June, Governor Little sent a team of Idaho State Police troopers to the border to help combat drug trafficking. The governors of Arizona and Texas requested the help under a special agreement that allows states to help one another in a disaster or other emergency. Governor Little also condemned the lieutenant governor's request on social media, writing, quote, attempting to deploy our National Guard for political grandstanding is an affront to the Idaho Constitution and insults the men and women who have dedicated their life to serving our state and the country. McGeehan's moves also received condemnation from Republican House Speaker Scott Bedke, who called them an overreach and, quote, a complete grandstand of uh, and abuse of her political office in an attempt to influence voters. The House Speaker also revealed he is working with Senate leaders to reconvene the legislature to fight back against federal vaccine requirements for the employees of large companies handed down by the Biden administration. Idaho lawmakers have historically been prevented by the Idaho Constitution from calling a special session. Session. Only the governor can do that. Voters will decide next year whether or not to modify the Constitution to give legislatures that power. But House lawmakers used an apparent loophole to grant themselves that power right away. They did not adjourn earlier this year and instead recessing until the end of the year without pay at the call of the speaker. McGeehan's office did not respond to a request for comment by the Associated Press. As we've reported, McGeehan and Little have been open critics of one another despite being in the same party. Back in May, McGeehan issued an executive order while the governor was out of state banning mask mandates of any kind in the state. Of course, Little never issued a statewide mask mandate. He did roll back McGeehan's order saying decision making on COVID mitigation was best left to local governments.